greet you all in the highly exalted, wonderful, precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the book of Romans. Turning our Bibles to Romans chapter 16 and verse 19. Everyone has heard about your obedience. So I am full of joy over you, but I want you to be wise about what is good and innocent about what is evil. So Apostle Paul is uh, talking to this church at Rome and he says that uh, people have heard about your obedience. And uh, um, when people have heard about your obedience, that I am filled with joy over you. This this word uh, occurs many times in the epistles of um, Apostle Paul because his, his heart's joy was in people's obedience. And this was the same thing that uh, John writes when he says, there is no, I have no greater joy than to know that my children are walking in the truth. Oh, what greater joy can a father have than to see that their children are walking by the truth that he has taught them? And so uh, the, the greatest gift that we can give our mentors or uh, the servants of God who serve as the shepherds who shepherd us is not a gift of money or, or some other lavish gift that is bestowed upon them, but the greatest joy that we can give them is the joy of obedience to the word of God. Many a times we try to please them with so many other things. No, it is it is the, the joy that they have over us as we obey scripture. That should be the supreme. And if they rejoice in something else, then I don't think that uh, they are the right people that you should follow. And so uh, Apostle Paul uh, continues to say, uh, but in spite of your obedience, I want to tell you this. He says that you be wise in what is good and innocent about what is evil. Why is he telling this? Because it is it is so easy to be coaxed into a fellowship where uh, they, they obey things that are taught, but uh, they also uh, have a duplicity. That is, uh, they, they go on to... Uh, you know, also uh, practice what is evil. Oh, what a, what a horrible thing. So he says, be innocent in that regard. Don't give yourself to practice both of these things, that is evil and also obedience. It is possible that sometimes you are obedient, sometimes you do uh, something wrong in order to financially... Uh, uh, gain or in order to be socially to uh, stand your status no he says be very careful be very careful in what you do so uh, we we ought to be along with obedience we also need to be wise about what is good now what is wise about what is good it is not o obeying or it is not sticking to the letter of the word but it is sticking to the spirit of the word we need to be really really wise we need that wisdom of the spirit that will equip us to apply word in our daily life. Because otherwise, you know, you won't see your everyday situation exactly in the Bible. No, you only see the principles. You only see uh, the direction that is You only see about the heart of God. So you need wisdom of the spirit to be able to understand this wisdom of God to apply it to the things you're going through. It cannot be done with a simple mind. It cannot be done with somebody who is negligent with scripture. You need to be trained. You need to be, uh, you know, adept and uh, diligent with scriptures. And then uh, he goes on to say, uh, you need to be innocent about evil. Because you can't take part in evil and also uh, in obedience. You, you, you can't take part in the table of the Lord and also in the table of of the demons. You can't take part in the table of thanksgiving and also in the table of curse. No. Gracious Heavenly Father, help us to be very, very cautious that along with our obedience, we might also be careful that we don't give in to evil and we are wise with the wisdom of the Spirit in applying Scripture. Jesus' wonderful, precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you.